Hello everyone, this is the Larry Studios. Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Facebook slide like menu, you know, the Facebook like slide menu. Uh in the if you if you cover some with a Facebook mobile application on Android, uh you notice that there are two sliders, uh first of all by the right and also at the left, you know. So you cannot actually slide from the right uh to get some menu from the left right. And also you can actually slide from the left and get also some menu functionality from the left so we'll be creating an application to actually show and uh, explain how to incorporate uh, the slide menu into your application uh, both uh, on the left side of the application and also on the right side of the application so I'll be moving straight to Android Studio which is my development environment uh, where I'm going to explain how the app, uh, the code uh, flows. Okay, uh, we'll be looking at the build.gradle at the mobile app session. If you notice in the dependencies, uh, we have the the support version four, and also we compile some files from the libs app folder, which is the slider.jar. This is a jar file which we actually incorporate into this application. All right, I would like to show you where the jar file is. So you go to your project. Uh, if you notice in the app session of the project, you notice there's a libs folder where you have the slider.jar uh, package. You know, this is a, a library that we actually incorporate into the dependencies. Okay, uh, we'll go back to the Android uh, directory. Now we'll be looking at the build.gradle where we only have the class path uh, to the Android.tools.buildgradle, which is 1.5.0. Uh, okay, we'll be moving straight to the layout uh, of the application where we'll be talking about uh, the XMLs, which is the activity main and the left menu XML and the right menu XML. You know, the left menu is actually handling the display for the left menu slider, while the right menu is actually handling for the right menu uh, slider. Let's look at the activity main, which is the which is uh, the default activity. Okay, that's a relative layout with layout with an height of match parent. Uh, it has a, three, uh, two buttons. You know, the first button, uh, we assign an ID to it called left button, which is for the left drawer. Uh, the layout with an ID is wrap content, while the layout online parent left is true. Okay, and the text on it is left menu. Uh, the second button, we assign an ID to it called right button, uh, where the layout with an ID is wrap content, the align parent right is true, and the text on it is right menu. Okay, there's a text feed that followed where we are sending an ID to it called TV1, where the width and height of the layout is wrap content and it's actually sitting below the right button. Okay, and the margin left and top is uh, at 18 dp and 128 dp respectively. Uh, the text on it is no click and we have the closing relative layout. Let's look at the left menu XML. You can actually build more on this, but you know, this is just like a framework. For you to actually start up uh, uh, including the slide menu into your application. Okay, there's a linear layout with layout with a night match parent. Uh, the background is 0, 0, which is the black. Uh, the orientation is vertical. Uh, it has a text view called text view 1 on it uh, with the width and the height uh, with a width layout of 260 dp and the graffiti is center. While the text on it is left menu, we have a button afterwards that has a an ID of button one, the layout with an ID is wrap content, where the text on it is a new window. Okay, there's an on click action on this particular button of the left menu. What about the right menu? Uh, it's a linear layout with the layout with an ID also matching parent. Uh, the background is black, where the orientation is vertical. Uh, we have a text view inside this linear layout with an ID of text view one. Layout width and height is 260 dp and wrap content respectively. While the gravity is center and the text on it is right menu, the text color is white. Okay, uh, that's for the layout. Let's look at uh, our Java class, which is which is the main activity. Okay, uh, let's look at the import. It we actually imported the view, the widget button, and the widget text view, and also we imported the cam.navdraw simple side. Draw, you know, the simple side draw. This uh, inclusion is very important. Uh, okay, uh, we have the main activity that extends activity. 
about with the clear 3D uh, fields are the slider drawer, which we assign slide me, and also the button, left button, the right button, and the new button. Uh, we have the text view where we have the TV one. Now we have the uncreate method where we set the uncreate, uh, super uncreate to the saved instance state, and we set the content view to the layout of the activity made I explained earlier. Now we are going to uh, shift uh, the new simple slide, simple side drawer, you know, with the slide me uh, object we actually uh, call on. So, so this slide me we, we're going to set the left behind content view uh, based on the layout of the left menu. So you can actually uh, do more on this left menu, and also we're going to set the right behind content view based on the layout of the right menu. You know. And the TV one, which is the text view, we're going to find the view by ID of the TV one. Also, for the new button, we're going to find its button ID, which is button one. And now the left button, also, we're going to get its ID of left button, likewise, the right button. All these are uh, uh, objects we're going to set an on click listener to this, where we're going to call the TV one, set the text click. Okay. Uh, and also, the slide menu, we're going to toggle the left drawer. Uh, we're going to call it the toggle left drawer method, which is from the uh, class simple drawer, uh, from the library simple drawer, simple side drawer. Okay, the same thing we're going to do to the left button. We're going to set an on click listener to it, and also we're going to toggle left drawer, and also the right button. We're going to set an on click listener to it. We're going to toggle right drawer. Okay, this is very straightforward and it's quite explainable. Now I would like you to pick it up. You're going to edit more of this. You're going to work on this. So that's going to actually be robust by this Facebook application. So I'm going to show you this uh, in my emulator where I actually have this uh, UI of the application. Now the left menu button and the right menu button. When you click on the left menu button, you have a slider effect which will view the left menu XML. Now we're going to call it back. The same thing goes for the right menu. We have the slider effect, which actually will build the right menu. Again. So things can also go over here. You can actually add some fields, some rows, and and some buttons, and you can actually set an activity. Some things it's not with creates the necessary activity that's going to actually call on these buttons. So this is quite very very cool, and this is the framework I would like you to actually use. Um, it's actually. Uh, uh, gotten from the Facebook like uh, uh, application where you have two side uh, slide demo, you know, the left menu and also the right. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me. Hope you've gotten one or two things in this tutorial. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time.